uh, Kathy and Jim had a um, like a mini retreat there a few years ago, and and we went. It's beautiful there. It's not. It doesn't appear when I look at the website. It doesn't appear to be owned by any denomination. It's just a Christian. And you, they have business conferences there. They've got weddings there and stuff. Um, I called them. They also have cabins and stuff that can be rented. A number of them. And I've gotten in touch with them, and they have an opening for the large meeting room the weekend of the 18th of June. And the price is. Let me get the price here. For a full day, it's two hundred and fifty dollars. For a half day or overnight, it's one hundred and fifty. So oh, that's well. well within our price range. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. And they said that if it, if enough people stay there, and they also can provide meals. Now I don't know how we would work that. If we would have to collect the money in advance, I, we'd have to figure that out. But if enough people stay there and eat, we can either get a discount on the place or even get it free if enough people stay. Well, they, they would give you a free like meeting it's room. like a cafeteria. It's like Lincoln. yeah. Yeah, and the and the, the the cabins start at like forty dollars per person, and if you have so many, then it becomes thirty dollars per person, and the food is anywhere from from what Ruby was telling me seven dollars for breakfast, eight dollars for lunch, nine dollars for dinner. Kathy, did you guys have to pay in advance for the meals, or did people just pay? You just had to give them a number, and then people paid. Um, for the retreat that we did, I think we I think we collected. Um, that ahead of time 